Welcome back, my dear friends in the Lord. I'm so grateful that you're here with me today and I hope that God is speaking to your heart through this video. Dear Mother Mary, you are the beloved daughter of God the Father. I entrust my soul under your care. Please protect the divine life within my soul. Do not allow me to lose this life due to sin. Shield my thoughts and desires, so that all my thoughts and desires may please God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In this video, we will listen to the message that Jesus has sent to Luz de Maria. He speaks to us about a significant event that will occur on August 23rd. I hope you will enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us and listen to the video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe. May God bless you always. Now, our Lord speaks. Beloved children, dear ones of mine, my heart beats with mercy for all of humanity. My mercy is vast for all my children. Come to me, your Father awaits you. Come to me fully prepared, truly repentant, and with a determined commitment to change. Pray, pray in silence to hear my voice. My desire is that my priests preach with truth, that they call my people to conversion, that they are living witnesses of their priestly ministry, that they love and are loyal to the fortunate mother of mine, who will guide them on the path of humility, faith, trust, love, and wisdom. My desire is for them to emphasize to the faithful that they reform and on that path of reform, they completely change their behavior when they realize that the body is the temple of my Holy Spirit. I request of you that on the 23rd of August, you rededicate yourselves to the Immaculate Heart of my Mother. My people, dear ones of mine, the earth trembles before eyes still blinded by strange things. The warning is the product of my infinite mercy for you, it is near. A series of natural origin events have taken place all over the earth. The pollution of violent disease is still upon the earth and this violence will quickly move from one mind to another and from one nation to another. Let us pray, pray that you combat this pandemic with prayer and love for my mother and me. My beloved, dear ones of mine, pray for my father's shepherd, pray for my father's shepherd's health. Pray for Spain, a regrettable event will take place in Spain. Pray for the children of the United States, the complaint will be generalized. Pray for the children, pray for Denmark, it will suffer greatly. Water, water will cause devastation. Pray for Japan, this generation will not pass if all the smallest prophecies of mine are not heeded. The stars will give humanity a great sign, be cautious yet open to the signs that the sky will send to humanity. The earth is renewed and along with it, humanity will face great tribulations, but these tribulations will purify them, for them to understand that I am your God. The Antichrist will bring pain to my church, to those who are my people. Some will follow him until they painfully see his deception, but I will still extend my arms waiting for mine, 
wandering through the desert once again. I will still extend my arms waiting for them. My faithful, unite, protect one another, do not depend too much on material things so as not to be destabilized when facing the collapse of currency, the great idol of humanity. Stay united, those with faith will be filled with all the blessings that will descend from my house just as in the past, it will be food as in the past, and it will descend upon you right now. Repent so that my mercy may come to your hearts and fill you with what is necessary. Do not be afraid, I do not want the children to be afraid and to stop immediately, I want you steadfast, strong in faith, assured of my love, of my commitment, of my infinite love, of my healing waters, of my liberating blood, of my encouragement, guidance, and protection. Dear brothers and sisters, God calls his children to be priests to preach the call to conversion so that his people do not become lost. God's word is truthful, it calls and alerts for those who are his to awaken. Let us love and obey, accepting the invitation that our Lord extends to us to rededicate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us pray with Mother Mary, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As we approach the 23rd of August, the resounding call to re-consecrate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary becomes more pronounced. This call is not merely a simple formality, it is an invitation to draw near to the spiritual heart of our maternal figure, seeking refuge, guidance, and strength in uncertain moments. The embrace from the motherly figure of Mary brings comfort and serves as a reminder of her intercession for us. The earth trembles, not only in its physicality but also metaphorically, as the world stands at a crossroads. It is a call to awaken from a sacred slumber, to open our eyes to the signs and messages that God places before us. Mentioning the warning shows the boundless mercy of our Creator. The warning is not a harsh judgment but a merciful invitation for introspection and repentance. It serves as a sacred illumination, allowing us to see the state of our souls and the impact of our choices. This act of mercy provides us with an opportunity to reorganize our lives according to God's intentions and His perfect love. Dear friends, the message presented calls for a multifaceted response. It signals a renewal of commitment to faith, embracing the warning as an opportunity for growth, and combating the pandemic of violence with love and unity. As we navigate the upcoming days, let us hold on to hope and mercy for ourselves. Let the renewal of consecration remind us of the intercession of Mother Mary, who accompanies us on our sacred journey. Let the warning serve as a lighthouse of divine light, guiding us towards deeper authenticity and intimacy. Let the call for unity inspire us to overcome division, and promote peace in our world. May our hearts be wide open to receive this sacred calling, responding with humility, faith, and understanding, recognizing that we are embraced in the arms of the Creator, full of love. As we move forward, may we become beacons of hope, mercy, and transformation, living according to the renewed call in every facet of our lives. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. 
I hope it has comforted your mind and refreshed your spirit. If you appreciated this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, please hit the like button and leave a comment below to tell me how you feel God's presence in your life. And make sure to share this video with your friends and family, who need to experience God's presence in their situations. God bless you.